Hello boys and girls and families. This is going to be our math lesson for today and last week we were talking a lot about measurement and we looked at linear measurement so how long things are and this week or at least for the next couple days we'll have a little look at what's called capacity and capacity is the space that something takes up all right so your assignment today we'll try to to uh try to do a little capacity experiment at home where you'll take two different containers and you'll see which one holds more so try to pick two containers that are fairly they're different but uh, you think might be fairly close in size okay so I'm just going to show you what I have here so I have this is a vase right here and this is sort of very tall and skinny and then I have just a regular glass here okay I'm gonna see which one has more so is it the tall and skinny one or the short and wide which one has a greater capacity which can hold more okay and this is gonna be tough because I don't really know and so what I have is I have a little container of water here and I have a little um, little measuring thing and if we look on the back here it shows this is a third of a cup or 80 milliliters so that is the capacity of this little container so before I start I am going to make a prediction and oof, I really don't know which one is going to hold more I'm going to guess it's maybe the tall and skinny one so I'm going to guess that this one I'm going to circle it here that this is going to hold more. That's my prediction, but it could go the other way. So, now, just a little heads up. Make sure you do this with mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, whoever's working with you. Do not start splashing water around the house or you will be in trouble, and so will I. So let's, let's not get in any trouble today, but let's have some fun and learn a little bit about capacity. So, here we go. So Mr. McRae is going to take his little measuring thing here and I'm going to fill it up as far as I can with water. And here I go. And I am going to dump this in here. Hopefully not spill too much. So there's one in there. Boy, oh boy, that actually is almost halfway up. And I'm going to get another one here. And try not to spill again. And there's two. And just there's another one there. I don't think I'll get a full one in. Let's see how much we get in here. I'll just go. Hmm. That is not quite, it's not quite three, so we'll call it two and a bit, okay? And I'm going to write that down, or maybe I'll just say almost three. So not quite three. Okay, so let's see what this glass can take now. So I'll get my little measuring thing here again. Let's dump it in here. There's one. Ooh, it's easier to dump in this one. And I might need the water from the big one again, just because I'm running out of water here. So I will dump that back in. All right. Okay, so there's, I have one in there. Now I have lots of water so I can get this nice and full. Two, mm. and here is, can I get three in there? Three, and I'm not gonna even try a full one. There's just a little bit in there. So, the the short and wide one actually was three and a bit. And the other one was almost three. 
So which of these containers held more? Actually, the short and wide one held more, okay? But were they close? They were actually pretty close, okay? So try to find two containers at your place, and if you don't want to use water, you could use something else. You could use snow if you want to go out and get snow. Um, whatever, you could use rice or cereal, whatever you want to use that um, you can take a scoop and dump it in a container and see which one has more capacity. Okay, good luck boys and girls. We'd love to see what you come up with at home and make a prediction before and then, and then do some measuring to see which one, use a scoop, use containers, which one holds more. The main thing that you do is make sure you use the same amount in each scoop. Good luck, have fun, we'd love to see your work, thanks.